Hello, 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 friends. Uh, Cody gave me permission to run this like a fool. Um, so, you know, we're gonna... Why? Why are you doing that? Amazing. Um, play on swords? Well, that too. But, you know what? It's not really about me. It's not really about this talking head. You're all here to see, specifically, the uh, new arenas for this week. That's right, I said arenas. Plural. Because this weekend, you all get to vote. I'm about to start a poll that is going to last approximately 24 hours, which means our first teams of the night may not even know what they're walking into. It is very important that all of you watch this and then send all of your friends and fans to vote on Twitter with this poll that I'm about to launch. Because if you see a arena that you really don't want to face this weekend and you look at your opponents and go, fuck, I can't do that. You better get your fans in here to vote for the other one. You get to decide by majority rules what is happening. So the question of the day is, which PvP arena should we face this weekend? It will be our pinned post on Twitter. It's going to last for exactly 23 hours. So that will end just before we start next, uh, we start, uh, actually no, it's gonna go it last exactly 24 hours. So it'll end at 6.53 tomorrow night, right before our first team. Right now, there's just two words. You don't know what they mean yet. Shall we find out what they mean? I think so. Uh, yep, one moment. It's fine, I can multitask. People left me in charge and this is what happens. So then, um, you are gonna, you, you may not have to model both. Um, it depends on how quickly you wanted to model them. But, uh, in any case, Let's pin some shit and get started because we had a lot of fun with this one. Yes? Good. Amazing. Phenomenal. Let's fucking party. And let's see the library first, I think. I think we're going to look at the library first because there's some new shit happening in the arena this weekend. P.S. Our next big giveaway is going to happen when we hit a thousand followers on Twitter, so yeah, absolutely send your friends over there. Now, welcome to the library. This is one of our two options for new maps this weekend. Pay close attention because there are some different rules in both of these than there usually are. Y'all don't need to see what my save tabs are. None of that is for you. Come on. That's for you. That's for you. Great. Let's talk about this nonsense, because I have a feeling none of you are going to like anything this weekend. Uh, especially, pay close attention, our one exhibition match team, because yes, you'll be going out for, uh, you'll be going out against the champions here. And there's some fun new rules. As you can see, you will be spawning in one of these two spots based on your team, as usual. Red team will spawn here. Green team will spawn here. Also pay attention to where you have to go to escape. Red team may escape here. Green team may escape here. Y'all can't see my cursor. You should be able to see my cursor. I'll go over to the map. There. There we go. So, you can see I need a select mode. I need a ping mode. Where is it? No, yeah, help me. All right. Mm, dynamic lighting, that's cool. Either way. This here, there we go, is where the, uh, the red is going to spawn. This here is where the green is going to spawn. This is where the green is going to escape. This is where the red is going to escape. Play close attention to what team you are that night. This is your arena guardian. Boy, does he have some fucking range. Why? Because your job is to come into this library, steal books, and escape with your lives. 
the perk, the twist, the extra. For every five points below your max health you are when you escape, you earn your team a point. So this is a game of strategy. Get hit. Let yourself get hit. Don't let yourself get hit too hard. Every time you escape with a book from the library shelves, you'll have to go downstairs and down to this second level to get those books. Every time you grab a book and escape with it, that book, based on its rarity and how fancy the book you happen to grab was, will grant you a boon. They're not the chests. They are absolutely the books instead. But this library guardian here is going to try to stop you. Now, how do you determine the quality of the book? Well, you can roll any of the... Uh, well, academically minded checks. That's going to be religion, uh, religion, medicine, arcane, ar arcanum, and uh, and nature. No. Religion, arcana. Cody will know, and he will tell you there's four checks. Um, but you're going to be able to roll those checks, one of any of them, uh, to see if you can pick a fancy, fancy history. Thank you, history. Hey, thanks, Ian. Bless. Thank you. Amazing. History, arcanum, religion, and... He didn't make me a list. I'm good at this, I swear. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting because... Uh, how how well you roll on those skills is going to determine how bu big and fancy of a book you manage to steal. If you are nature, thank you. If you are green team, for instance, and you have run down, down to here, started stealing books, the Arena Guardian's job is to wail on you, and you escape with only 10 hit points left, you've just earned your team a crap ton of points, and you have gotten out with a boon to your name. However, when you respawn again, this is not based on time, you're still in the game the entire amount of rounds. When you respawn, you will respawn with the points you died with, or you left with, you escaped with. Which means you're not, you're not healing when you come back unless you actually die. This is going to be a strategy game. This is go- you jump from the top floor to the bottom floor or climb. Um, I, I believe, um, because this is your escape pod. It's not a, you can shoot down, you can't jump down. You got to find other ways. Cody will explain that in more detail on the day. But the core concept, this room's going to be trapped. That guardian's going to try to kill you. Here's your spawn spots. Grab books, get hit. Don't get hit too much. Because as you all know, Healing and using those dice for those hit dice for rally heals versus letting yourself die is already a tricky business. And now, when your points are based on how much life you leave with, mm, gonna get a little more complicated. This may be the game where healers get their day, or not. This may be the game where tanks with a crap ton of hit points get their day because they can just take more damage than everybody else and just outlast in the library. But you only get to use the book for its boon once you escape with it it only triggers as a properly thefted book once you get out your escape spot then cody will give you your boons and then you may have the extra do we have any questions about the library so far because this isn't even my favorite one <laughs> i saved that one for after because it's gonna be pure unadulterated chaos so jumping frog noises um, I believe Cody has put some things into place either way, but I'm going to let him talk about those tomorrow before the first game, if this is the one we end up choosing. Suffice it to say, it's not going to be as easy to get around as you think. If you have wings, if you have jump, if you have climb, it may be a little more complicated for you, so I wouldn't bank on that necessarily. I would look at the tactics of the game as a whole rather than the space. That's all I'm saying for all of you, for both of these. Look at the tactics and what you actually need to achieve rather than how you think you can do it. Because there's traps I don't even know about in here. He's not telling me. I don't want to know. No points for harming the Iridia Guardian. Um, it is a check to, um, to see how rare it is. I believe you can just yoink a book if you want. It just may not be a boon. It just may be, this is the Kama Sutra. It didn't get me anything in this game. Um, you know? It, who knows? Um, we'll leave that up to the dungeon master and surprise us on the day. But, uh, halt all the walls and stairs. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about the actual height differences or the actual size of those spaces because it may not matter. Um, I will let, I will let Cody tell you that tomorrow. Um, should I take the damaging, should I take the damaging the guardian line out of the rules text? Um, I would leave it 
in general, say some arenas, some arenas, every arena is going to behave differently. So this is one of those arenas where that Guardian is not going to get any points scored on it. It is there to attack you. And if you want to let yourself get hit so you can get closer and closer to that unconscious line and just hit point edging your way through everything, get out right before, right before the end, sure. Um, but that's what that Guardian is for. I, I am going to assume, no, I know, please DM him and ask him that then, because I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. I do not know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Um, so, I know it's so, it's... I'm stressed. I'm very stressed about this. All the arenas are technically the same size. They're all technically 25 by 25. Um, so, let's find out. Thank you. I didn't mean to... You're good. I'm sorry. You're good. Please don't yell at me. All caps in chat makes me feel like I'm being yelled at. And then I panic. Um, so, amazing. I'm very fucking excited. Um, so, no points for harming the Arena Guardian in this one specifically. This one is all going to be... Um, this one is all going to be, uh, honestly, just for, um, hit points are a good resource if I don't use them. What exactly? No, you're okay. I like excited. I'm happy with it being excited. I'm very happy with it being excited. Now, this is the less, the less complicated of the dungeons. This one is fairly straightforward. You're gambling your hit points against, uh, you're, you're essentially trading in your hit points for points. Now, you can still get points the old-fashioned way, killing your opponents, um, but this one is going to be a, a, a more careful balance, honestly. Our players who were in deep trouble last time may find themselves in a better position to just, well, I'm bloodied and I'm dying, now I'm going to run. Um, but if someone thinks they can then down you, that's on them. And uh, it could be interesting to see. Do you have any other questions about the library specifically? Because the other one is going to be weird. If you want simple and you test people are already... Some of you have already voted library and you haven't even seen this next one. And you can't change your fucking vote. So this will... Like I said, if you desperately want one or the other arenas, you better get your friends to go vote. With no further ado... Let's move on. I don't know. I think they're traps. I think they're traps. I'm pretty sure they're traps. They look trappy, don't they? All I know is it's going to be hard to get in and out. Harder than you think to get in and out. That's all. That's all I got. Um, the library does sound amazing. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Um, we're going down, down in the library round. Sorry. Are we ready? Because I think it's time to visit... The Temple. Welcome to the Temple Shrine. Let's talk about this nonsense for just a moment, y'all. If you'll notice, here is the red spawning point. Here is the red victory point. A little more complicated than that. Here is a guardian. A guardian. A guardian. A guardian. Four of them, once again, cannot be pointed upon, cannot be scored with, are just there to make your lives hard. This particular arena is high risk, high reward. And I mean really, for whatever you need, this arena is high risk, high reward. Because here, and here, in these upper corners are piles of gold. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, get in, get as much gold as you can, and then you have two choices. You can escape with it, back out to your spawning point, and then start it all over, and claim it as your gold. This is team gold. You're walking away with clean. Or you can donate it to the shrine, and for every thousand gold you donate, your team gets a point. So how much do you need to walk away with to buy things for next week? And how much do you need right now to score and win this particular match? Sounds fun, no? But wait, there's more! Every one of your opponents carrying 
either money to and from the shrine or the door, or points that they have scored at the shrine, is considered to be carrying that item for the purposes of looting. Which means, yes, if you run up to your opponent, kill them while they're carrying 10,000 gold, you can pick that up and add it to your own personal pockets and do whatever you want with it. But wait, that's not all. As I mentioned, once you get over here and you score points, say Team Green has scored 5,000 points, nope, 5,000 gold worth of points, so five points. They now essentially have five points in their hand. Five green points in their hand. They gotta get all the way back here to score them. If Red Team wants to kill them, they can. But when you pick up those points that they've dropped like loot, they do not convert to your points. If you run them to your escape point, they will score for the other team, like throwing a basket into the wrong team's hoop in basketball. What does this mean, though? It means you can fucking play keep away with another team's points, if you goddamn well please. Now, just because we feel like making it a lot more fun... <laughs> yeah, um, he will absolutely do that. Just because we want to make it a little more chaotic. No, you may not bring in existing gold to gamble in this. However, we're adding an extra option to our donations for this week specifically. A pay-what-you-will option for anyone to donate just gold for you to go score or escape with. Doesn't need to be one of the amounts that is usually quoted. Doesn't need to be any of the boons that usually you want to do. $1, $2, $5, whatever. Bits. Whatever it is. You donate to a team. They can decide, are we taking this gold raw or are we trying to score it as points? And all of them count. Any of that donated stuff that's not a boon gets to be calculated into this. If you know that you need five points to pull ahead the team that's a space ahead of you on the roster this week, if you know, looking at League Lobster, that you're tied wins and losses with one of the other teams, but if it comes down to it, they'll win on points, that's where your money's going. That's where your gold goes. If you know you need $5 worth to get it, that's what you ask your fans for. It's going to be a game of strategy, bookkeeping, and pure, unadulterated, gold-based chaos. And I'm excited about it, quite frankly. That one has my vote. But, depending on your character makeup and how many arena guardians there are, oh, and the fact that your opponents can steal your gold, your opponents can steal your points, your opponents can yeet your points into the pond for you. It could get interesting, folks. So who has questions about this particular arena that has a special place in my heart? Keep in mind, whichever one we do not do this week, we will do next week. So, look at your opponents. Take careful measure of what you need right now. Do you need a sure win? Do you need a sure amount of gold? Do you need just to hold your own and keep your place in the rankings? It's entirely your decision. And pond, it's just there to be wet. Yes. Um, I honestly cannot wait to see what you all decide. I cannot wait to see... Who's desperate enough to play one of these arenas that they just bring all their friends into Twitter to make sure that they vote the right way? So, thoughts, comments, concerns, excitement? I'm excited about all of it. And I would not want to be whoever's in slot one next tomorrow because you do not know what is coming until it really is about to start. So you better hope that you vote. You better hope your fans vote for you <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Um, who has questions for us, kiddos? Um, oh, and vampire. Look at your opponents. Now back to Pixie. Now back to your opponents. Now back to Pixie. Pixie's a vampire now. <laughs> double Dare Arena. Yeah, it is Double Dare Arena. And, uh, and you do have to cross paths, as you can see. You are encouraged to cross paths and deal with shit. But that's four Arena Guardians and a crap ton of gold. And all of it is stuff that you are holding. Oh, Tristan, where are you? Tristan, where are you? Come back. I want to steal Temple for a campaign. Um, yeah, it, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Tristan, you should be a mod now. You have a sword. You're good. 
done. Um, so pretty, so deadly, so shiny. So far, library is winning 83% to 16 uh, and change for both of those. So, like I said, since the arena isn't solidified until first match tomorrow, all character changes locked at that point. Um, the question would be for me, how much is your, un how much is your build going to be changed or, or adjusted by which arena is picked? Because part of the mystery of Altensia is you may never know. I've been saying build for utility this whole time for a reason. Build for flexibility. Build for anything is possible. Because, who knows? The arena may decide to change its mind if we get a 50-50 split, and y'all may face at the toss-up of a coin, either one. Oh, I didn't tell you the best part about this one. You want to know how fans uh, influence the arena? It can either flood or be set on fire. And we're going to let them vote every match. Which one is happening, and which one they will spawn? More flood water or more fire? It's pure chaos, and it's a joy, and it's a delight. But this is the week to either get all your gold, to buy into the second half of the, of the, of the league, and make sure you're still up there where you should be. Or, um, this is your time to just play it safe, and grab some books, and hope you get out with your hit points. So, I'm really, really excited. It's the sacking of Rome, and the burning of Alexandria. Um, I'm very excited. I don't even know what the arena perks are going to be for the library yet. Not a clue. Very, very stoked. And it's going to change every match, Nelly. That's the thing is, it can change every match. We'll put up a poll at the beginning of every game and say flood or fire. We may change it at halftime. Altensia is chaotic like that. It's why the world's written that way. So, who has questions? Anyone? And if not, I am about to have to go get... Oh, Temple is creeping up on library. Oof. Oof. It's getting there. Let's see where this is in 24 hours, 23 hours. I'm very excited for the chaos. In any case, um, remember, as some of you learned this week, channel points absolutely convert to in-game gold for your characters. So racking them up right now to influence the game and or to buy yourself some free gold is very, very helpful. Lucky for you, we have a long-ass stream coming your way in about 15 minutes. I'm going to run change. I'm going to swap over controls to Sway, who is our guest storyteller for this evening's Vampire the Masquerade launch. We're all very excited about it. This is a chance to earn a hell of a lot of channel points for you and your team, or to throw at your enemies. So, uh, let's get ready to have some fun, kids. Um, those gets, gates in the library, do you have to break through them open to get out from the central area? I am not sure. I'm not sure. We don't know how fans can help the library yet. We have no fucking idea. I will honestly keep you posted. Oh, it looks like, oh, it looks like, uh, Captain Angry and the Bad Moods are our first, are our opening match tomorrow, I believe. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. But yeah. Don't touch that dial, fam. Y'all better stay right the fuck where you are, because we are really, really excited about this. And, um, yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to leave this open. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing a little. It's fine. All of this is normal. All of this is wholly normal. Um, listen, listen, maybe you can rename the Guardian. Who, 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 who knows? Um, but either way, I am very 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 excited for all of this with all of you um i cannot wait to see what happens next so go grab yours <laughs> you know why wet edge you know why <laughs> um so on that note i'm gonna go change into something a little more vampy uh hang tight kiddos we will see you real soon Wrong one! I changed it. I'm not Chaos Pixie here. I'm just gonna sign off. And I'll see you real goddamn soon. Yeah. <laughs>